table for a linear function. Function f is defined by the following rule. f of x equals minus x minus 2. Complete the function table. So down here, we have these two columns. These are the x values. And we're going to put each x value into the function and then write the result in the next box. So let's start with this row. Negative 2. So when we put negative 2 into the function x, that means we're going to put a negative 2 where x was. So I'm rewriting this as minus, use the parentheses, minus 2, minus 2. So now I'm going to type that exactly into my calculator. So let's look at that. Minus. Well, I'm using the negative button. Parentheses, negative 2. Now I'm using the minus button, 2. So see how it looks exactly like what I wrote down. I'm going to press the enter button, and that gives me the answer of 0. This negative made this negative 2 become a positive 2. 2 minus 2 gives us 0. So this answer is 0. That means this box now has a zero in it to complete the function table. So now we're doing the next row. f of zero equals. When I have a zero, I'm putting it in for x. That means I have minus or negative zero minus two. So I can type that into my calculator as well. So I use the negative button, parentheses, zero, parentheses, minus two. Or I could know that negative zero is still zero, minus two, equals negative two. That means this box is negative two. All right, now we're going to try f of two. When x is 2, you just put it right in the same spot where x was. See how I put negative 2 inside the parentheses, then 0, then 2? We're following that same pattern every time. Now we're putting a negative, parentheses 2, parentheses, minus 2. Gives us a minus 4 for our answer. That's what goes in this box. The answer to f of 2 is negative 4. All right, now let's do the next one, f of 3. Negative 3 minus 2. I'm just going to keep scooting up. All right, negative parenthesis 3 parenthesis minus 2 equals minus 5. our answer. One last one, f of 5 equals where that x was, now we're going to put a 5, and so we have negative 5 minus 2. So I'm going to type that into the calculator, negative 5 minus 2 equals negative 7. Now my function table is complete. I have an answer in each of these spots. And I found it by putting the x values into the function. I kept the parentheses around them and put it wherever the x was. 